Hey guys, um, Kelly here. It's Monday afternoon. I'm sitting in my office and um, I honestly, I have been planning on doing um, this, this particular Facebook Live on a subject that's near and dear to my heart for probably a good week or two and I'm seriously very nervous about it because I think it's one of the um, one of the things that when I started my own business and left corporation and was so, so, so scared um, about, you know, leaving the security and health insurance and all of that good stuff. Um, anyway, it was, it was, this was one of the things that um, really alleviated my fears. And I was like, yes, yes, I'm on the right path. I'm on the right path. And that is, um, I read a book called um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And I'm going to butcher the author's last name, Robert, Robert. Kajowski, I think is his last name. But anyway, he talked about how, um, you know, growing up with wealthy parents versus, um, you know, parents with maybe not as much money, how you look at things differently. And so I grew up in a farm, central Illinois. It was the 80s, which was a horrible time in United States agriculture. And so when I went to college, honestly, my biggest focus was all about um, safety and security and health insurance and a 401k. That was the most important thing to me. And, you know, life kind of gets in the way you know, and makes you change your mind about things. And so um, when we had our second child, he was sick his first year. And so I left the safety of the, you know, corporate world and decided to stay at home with them and start my first, you know, at home business as a wedding photographer. I knew how to run a camera. So we're just going to do this. And it, it was great. I was home during the week. And, um, you know, hey, Natalie. Hey, Tara. Thank you for joining, guys. Um, but, um, you know, I was I was home during the week and I go and work on the, on the weekends. And so I read this book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And he talks about something called the cash flow quadrant. And you know what? I printed it off and I left it over on the table, on the desk. Shoot. Anyway, he talks about the, the cash flow quadrant. And basically, there's four areas. There's, um, you start out, I'm going to go and get it because you're not going to get it until I show it to you. So hold on. Okay, got it. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it up here so you see it. You guys can even see, I, I even transposed it so it would come off correctly. But anyway, you start out and you're an E, you're an employee. You go to work, you get a paycheck in, in, you know, in exchange for it. So you get you know, this paycheck. Maybe you come down and you become self-employed, but you're still trading your time for money. So for me being a wedding photographer, I have to actually be there shooting weddings on the weekends in order to get paid. Um, was it great as far as raising a family? Absolutely so. It allowed me to be home during the week with the kids. We got our son healthy. Um, you know, I got to go on field trips, all of that good stuff that I couldn't do maybe when I was working for a larger company. But I still was exchanging my time for my money. Hello, Holly Flexenar. Good to see you here today. So anyway, this is what was really, really interesting to me, though. You, this is still a job. You're exchanging your time for your money. Over here, as we get over here to this side of the equation, B, this is a business. This is where you own a business and you have a system. You don't absolutely have to be there. Your income does not depend on you being there. People work for you and you are not literally tied down in exchanging your time for money, okay? So then we go into I, and this is where you own investments. This is where you're just traveling the world and you've got interest coming in, okay? But here's the thing. This is the thing that's gonna, there's a couple of things that really blew my mind that I'd never thought of before. Over here on this side, the employee and self-employed side, this is 90% of the world, but only 10% of the wealth. 10% of the income's over here. Flips over here on this side. Over here on this right hand side, or what would be my right side, I guess your left side probably. But anyway, owning a business where you've got people working underneath you and you don't have to be there, or owning investments, this is only 10% of the world, but this is 90% of the wealth that's out there. And so your goal, as, as at least my goal, as I began moving through my career, as I started out as an employee, and it was wonderful, I learned so much, I don't ever wanna knock the experiences that I had, but I moved into this self-employed area, and once again, completely wonderful. I've learned a ton of, ton, ton, ton of information. 
location. But now my goal is to travel up to here and to own a company where I actually have people that are underneath me, whether they're employees, whether they're sales teams. And I don't necessarily have to be in an office eight to five and the income's still coming in. Now you can think of this, there's a lot of different areas. If you think of um, people that own franchises, if they own restaurants, where they're not actually there managing things every day, this is them. Um, if you own, if you're in online sales, this is them. Um, if you host, you know, webinars that people attend um, and you've pre-recorded them and you don't necessarily have to be there and people are still watching them and you're making money, this is them. Okay, so you kind of travel that cash flow quadrant. You start out as an employee, you go into self-employed, you go into a business owner where you've got a system working for you, and then eventually the goal is that you're living from investments that you've made. And so that once I once I read that, that changed my whole career trajectory because I knew as a wedding photographer that I, I, and I loved it, it was wonderful. I'm still doing it. I have a couple weddings yet this year that I'm excited about, but I knew that I had to have a next step plan. I knew that I was not going to be a 65 year old wedding photographer. I knew that as my kids got older and into high school, that it was more important for me to be home on the weekends than during the week when they were at school. And so I was always looking for what, what do I need to do next? And then once I saw that cash flow quadrant, it all made sense to me that I needed to set up my next step in business in a way that I could work whenever I wanted, wherever I wanted. And that through that, the income was still coming in, but I didn't necessarily have to clock in and exchange my time for the money. And so that's when I began looking at online sales. And so I, I, I wanted to post this, you know, just really to open your eyes up and make you think about your own job. Um, you know, where are you at in the cash flow quadrant? And where do you want to be when you, you know, when you have kids, if you don't have them already, if you're, when your kids are, you know, active and you're in high, you know, they're in high school or even after they've left, you know, and you don't necessarily want to check into that job. And so um, I just wanted to post this to really challenge people. I have a lot of people that I talk to every single week um, that email or message me and say, hey, Kelly, you know, how did you, how did you leave your full-time job? How did you, you know, start your own business? How did, how did you make this all work? And I'm going to be honest with you. If I had started things, if I had known this, what I know now, five or six years ago when I started my wedding photography business, um, I probably would have gone a different route. I would have gone, you know, the online route um, earlier, but, um, you know, everything's an education, everything's a process. And so I wanted to make sure and share it with you guys so that as you make decisions and career changes, that you had the same information that I wish I would have had. So, um, I tell you what, message me if um, you have any questions. Um, if this was of any value to you at all, um, share it. You know, if you have friends that, you know, are thinking of making career changes or, you know, they're sitting there in the office and they're saying, hey, I, you know, would rather be at home with my kids or I, you know, have an idea for a business that I want to start. Make sure I message the message or share this, this present, you know, this little video with them. Because I want, you know, my goal is to share the information that I wish I would have had from the beginning. So anyway, guys, thanks for checking in and you guys have a great day. Bye.